What's up guys, Dirtbing here today, I'm back with Doki Doki Literature Club, and I don't know where I left off, I forget. Oh, I showed her my poem. Did you wait until this morning to write this? Oh yeah, she did the poem. Like the breakfast poem. No. Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I mean, you say it that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or sh how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that eggs and toast is really good. Um, green. I don't know what it is. Even though you were you were late to school, it's a bad skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hee hee hee! That was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Mouse, would you stop? Pre okay. Hold on. I gotta fix my mouse problem. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I really I don't know why, but I can't fix it. So um, if it keeps freaking out, I don't actually know if it shows up in the video. I haven't checked, but just don't worry about it. So, well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Now I gotta choose somebody else. Let's go with Monica. Hi, Dom. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening, okay? Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Dom. Uh, you're, we're all a little bit embarrassed today, you know, but it's all sort of a barrier that we'll have to learn and get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand my Monica my poem. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayori would like. Ah, oh, that voice cracked. <laughs> Is that so? And you and Sayori are really good friends, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to look at what that said because I forget. Why is she stunned? Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be, may be the case. But there's also some... See? It's doing it again! Also, some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you... It sounds like you two really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's kind of a vibe I get when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Eh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in that case, Sayori's... Sayori writing... Say... Say... Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can't tell that she's like... I can tell... I didn't even click. Ah, oh, my ring figure must have clicked it. Who knew that someone would be happy to enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm not gonna read all this. I'm just, I'm just clicking through it because okay. Ah, uh, please tell me. Yes, please. Don't worry. I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have, I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in a wall. Hole in a wall. It could have been me. See the direction that spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. 
My, ret my retinas are already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now. I was looking in. I was looking in. I was looking out. And the other side was looking in. Whoa. It's a deep. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Good lord. Uh, yeah, it's kind of style I've gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's it. There, that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. Uh, I guess you could say that I had some kind of... Um, something. Epiphany. It's been influencing my poems a bit. In epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's... Uh, that's scary. I don't... I don't trust that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strong. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tips of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it. The, it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a dark, big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. That is not right. Or maybe it's another one. I think it's the next day. But she was like, don't forget to save your game. I remember she said that once. I don't know. Now I'm going to go with Natsuki. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, it's not like I said it was bad. I just It just didn't evoke any emotions. Any emotions. So, basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want, do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. She looks nervous. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. What's up with the music? Why did the music change? Okay. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Okay. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. See, now it's fine. What the crap? I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Oh, I guess I was saying that. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the world wordplay I like like I set up for a rhyme at the end but then made it fall flat on purpose helps bring out the feeling in the last line so you did I guess more went into it than I realized now look she has like a vampire tooth and that's what I, that's what it means to be a pro I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. 
I decided to humor her with that last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that or that away from her. Time for Yuri. I actually got through everybody this video. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> that is so something I would do. Uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts in words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after... Or that it might be after reading it. Reading through it. I think I said that completely wrong. Hold up. <laughs> I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, okay. I get it now. Sorry. Eh, so it's bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I don't really know. Notice? I really didn't notice. Okay. What were you saying? Right. Um. Oh! I just realized I can do, do that if I miss a thing. Oh, I hate myself. I'm so dumb. Okay. It's just that there are specific writing habits that usually typical or new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick it up pick up on them. And I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it is as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It may take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. That was really good. That was like really deep. I don't know why I just checked my watch. I have a clock right there. Natsu can be a little, a little biased though. Biased now. Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. She says sorry too much. I'm not sure if you'll really apologize to yourself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if, if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate between the amber glow bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I, ba I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's pretty good. I'm sorry to have such terrible hand around. I read it fine. Okay, hold on, I gotta check how much time I have. Okay, I have a little bit of time, so, um... It takes a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read Skip It Robin. It didn't take me that long. Okay, so, I'm going to leave it here, and I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!